Take care. Oh. Bye, guys. Please stay sir. Yeah, take care. Up team on yeah, definitely. Uh, today, this is the 3% Littleton Disaster Relief Team. Um, we are out here in support of the Second Amendment. Um, we are an organized team that's really looking to keep America the same thing um, that we had for our children, and we want to pass off the same way we got it. Uh, there's a lot of misrepresentation upon us. Um, people actually come in and think that we are part of some all right-wing supremacies and stuff like that. We are not. As you can see, we've got every walk of life. We've got every shape and size here. Um, we are just your typical American patriot, and we are just looking to further more American patriotism. It's, it's, a, it's a great day to be out here. It's a great day to celebrate with your patriots. And the Second Amendment, if it wasn't there, the First Amendment would be the next thing to go. It's what, it's what protects it. So, guys, do your research. Uh, realize why America was a battle, why we earned our freedom. We weren't given this. We need to keep this. The 3%, do your research. We're a local group. We're in every state. We have a chapter in every state. Uh, do your research. Check us out, folks. Have a good day. Patriot on. Three up. So I served in the military, and while I was in the military, I was attacked by one of my co-workers who was armed. And it's funny because walking here, someone told me, use your brain, not your gun. I'm not sure my brain would have saved my life in that situation. And it's funny because feminists now say that women shouldn't be allowed guns because guns in the household will lead to domestic abuse. But not having a gun results in immediate abuse. So that's what I'm here for, is to make sure that people can stand up for themselves. So I put Me Too Survivor and gun owner on here. Well, today, everybody's talking about they're against gun violence. Well, I'm against violence, not against guns. And I spent 20 years in the Marine Corps around every type of firearm you can imagine. Machine guns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, grenades, bayonets, handguns. And I never seen a one get up and do anything uh, any more than I've seen a hammer get up and drive a nail by itself. We're focusing on the wrong thing today. We got a problem in our society and it's not guns, it's violence. And violence starts in the heart, not in the implement that's used. And, and uh, so, I mean, I'm every bit against violence, but it's not my gun that's the problem. My guns have never hurt anybody. All right, so one thing that's really stood out to me a lot of the gun control debate is that, you know, people who are calling the most for disarming people will never give up their own private security. It's all the celebrities where they'll say, yo, you don't need a gun. However, they need, you know, all the armed security around them. You know, it's the politicians where they say, oh, the average citizen doesn't need security. But of course, they have Capitol Police guarding their asses. So I feel like... <laughs> The thing I want to point out is just, no, self-defense is not some privilege for people who are well-connected or wealthy. You know, this is a right of every single American citizen to protect yourself.